Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty here on Hilton Head Island in Bluffton, South Carolina. It's September 11th, 2014, and we're in Bluffton today in the community of Lawton Station over on Route 170 on the west side of Bluffton, midway between Hilton Head Island, Savannah, Georgia, and Beaufort, South Carolina. We're here today to see this beautiful brand new home uh, it's uh, built by Village Park Homes and it's listed with Village Park Properties. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 38 years of local Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. The home has 400, uh, excuse me, this home has four bedrooms, four and a half baths, 3,314 square feet four bedrooms, four and a half baths. It's listed for $459,900. It's brand new, just completed. It has hardy plank siding. You can see that it has a, uh, a stone uh, uh, facing around the base. Um, vinyl clad windows with interior flat mullions, covered front porch, screen porch behind. Uh, it has uh, gas, this is a gas community. It has a gas fireplace, gas range, stainless steel appliances, granite tops. It's loaded. It's loaded. You'll see as we walk through and can decide for yourself how loaded it is or if it's loaded enough for you. But the reason I'm here, I've asked this company if I could come and video this house and they were kind enough to uh, accept my invitation because I work with a lot of buyers who are looking for a house like this and they're building them here in Lawton Station. The uh, statistics are just mind-boggling about this community. In the last 90 days, our MLS data shows that there are 21 homes that have sold or are under contract, while at the same time only four are for sale. Only four are for sale. This is one of the four. And um, that's pretty amazing. When you consider the prices are based on supply and demand, uh, the demand is very high, ladies and gentlemen. And the supply, well, one thing about the supply is that in this community where you do have to buy from this builder, if you're going to build, so it comes as a package. You choose your lot, you, you know, working with your budget, uh, they choose a house for you. And there's three sections. It's the Avondale, which has the quarter acre lots. You have your, um, uh, your middle community which has third acre lots. And then you have this, the Cambridge community, uh, the middle community being Bellmead, by the way, and then this community being Cambridge, which has the larger than third acre lots, 100 foot widths. You can see the type of homes that they're building here. Well, when we talk about supply and demand, they do have an additional phase to the Cambridge down at the end of the street there, which is coming. And they do have an additional phase, which is coming in the Avondale section, which is your more economy section. The overall price range of these houses, starting in the $200,000 price range, uh, going on up to close to $500,000. So over here in the Cambridge section, this is the best of the best. And uh, this is what a lot of people are looking for. So let's take a look at this house. Now that we know a little bit about the community, is it is a gated community, by the way, with a mechanical security gate and the annual HOA or POA fee is $850 a year. Another reason why some people like this community is that even if they can afford higher annual fees, you know, they just don't want to pay those fees if they, if they don't really need them, if they don't play golf and so forth. There is a community clubhouse with a fitness center and a swimming pool. Um, nice place to live. Nice place to live, Bluffton, I have to tell you. My wife and I lived on Hilton Head for 36 years. We moved to Bluffton two years ago, almost three years now. I have to tell you, Bluffton is a great place to live. Well, once again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company is Go Gated Realty, as in gated communities. And of course, Lawton Station is a gated community. And both gated communities. I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen, and both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. Once again, I'm showing you this house as a buyer's agent. I would just ask you to get in touch with me for your real estate needs and for your interest in this house or any other. One of the interesting things about this builder developer is that they also have a scattered lot program 
I'll tell you what that means and why I'm even bringing it up is because clearly someone's going to buy this house soon. When they do, this builder could build this house for you either elsewhere here in the Cambridge section or similar, it wouldn't be exactly the same, or perhaps you have a lot somewhere else where you might like to have them build it. Well, come see me, we'll talk, because uh, I used to be a licensed home, home builder here in South Carolina on Hilton Head Island, and I can help you with all those community comparisons, home comparisons, new home comparisons, comparing builders. It's a lot for people to take in. It's a lot for people to take in. That's why I'm here as a buyer's agent. We'll talk more about that when we finish walking through this beautiful home. This home is 162 Station Parkway, 162 Station Parkway here in Lawton Station. 459.9 is the price. Well, you have some windows beside and above your front door. You have a covered front entrance here with a uh, front porch, which is uh, very attractive to many people, connoting rocking chairs and meeting the neighbors and so forth. I would consider this kind of a traditional contemporary uh, uh, architecture that combines both old and new elements and of course the latest building materials. Well, people like wood floors and this is what this builder has put into this one and I think we'll find them, uh, th we're going to find this throughout the first floor. It's tile, uh, wood and carpeted floors. Well, immediately to the left we have our formal dining room with the wainscoting looking good and an octagonal recessed ceiling with crown molding up in that recessed ceiling or what some people might call a tray ceiling. Very stylish. You have some uh, higher, deeper crown molding there around the dining room wall itself looking real good. Double vinyl window there at the front. Here's a look back towards our foyer that also has the crown molding looking very good. And then we're in the living room with our gas fireplace, our master bedroom off there to the left, our screen porch on the diagonal at the end of the uh, living room here. And notice these coffered ceilings. All right, real traditional architecture here on the ceiling. We have high flat ceilings. Your living room is coffered. A lot of rich woodworking in this house. And then Behind us here to the right, we have an eat-in kitchen. And the kitchen itself is right here. It's what some people would call a gourmet kitchen because it's loaded with what people are looking for. Stainless steel appliances, a gas range, granite countertop. Let's take a closer look since we're here. This is your granite breakfast bar with this earth tone pattern, soft brown pattern that very attractive, very attractive indeed. Large island in the middle set at the diagonal. Your uh, custom wood panel cabinets, stainless steel appliances. Let's take a closer look. Over here, GE with the uh, indoor dispenser. We need that. This is the latest and greatest design on these appliances. Very cool. It opens up and extra wide, you know. They say that so you can put a full pizza in there. Well, we know you shouldn't eat pizzas, ladies and gentlemen, but that's what they say. Well, here's our GE uh, gas range. And this little device here, this uh, plumbing fixture here is what some people call the spaghetti filler. It means that you uh, can fill your pot with water right here on the range. You don't have to fill it at the sink and bring it across the floor. A little too heavy for many people. And for everybody just that much more convenient. You have some um, real nice tile work here behind the, uh, uh, the uh, countertops, and behind the range and so forth. Very soft uh, earth tone colors. Really a beautiful kitchen. Really beautiful. Uh, open to the living room and as I was saying over here is your uh, breakfast area. And then to the right, we have two bedrooms to the back right of the uh, house down that hallway. Behind me, our bonus room over the garage. Well, which way to go? Well, let's go this way first. Let's go see these two rooms, these two bedrooms. On our way is our half bath, our guest bathroom. 
And uh, very nice countertop there of cultured marble with the integral basin. If you're not familiar with cultured marble, it's a man-made product. It's a resin product mixed with quartz dust is what my understanding is. And it's an uh, integral basin there. It's molded. It's in the best homes in the area. It's very popular, very durable, kind of timeless, you know. It's white, it's clean looking. Uh, very, very nice half bath here, ladies and gentlemen. And we have wood panel doors throughout the house. And we have a tiled floor here. Tile, wood, and carpet is what we're looking at here in this half bath. Now we continue down the hallway. Now this floor has the hand-hewn surface that is so popular these days. It, I'm sure it's done by machines, but it has the sculpted surface. They call that hand-hewn. Makes it look rustic. So this is our second bedroom. Ceiling fans are here. This is a large room. And great thing about this room is it does have a private bathroom. Interesting design with this house. Your closet is there to the right with the double doors, wire shelving there. And here's our bathroom, similar quality to that half bath, but of course now we have a full tub and shower. And this is a private bathroom here, so uh, you know, a lot of people uh, want to see multiple, they want a one-story home, put it that way. A lot of people I work with want uh, everything on one story, but maybe a bonus room. Okay, well, this house has that. It has three bedrooms on the first floor, and then your fourth bedroom, which some people might regard as a bonus room, but it has a bathroom, is up there over the garage. Well, you have Berber carpets over here. Double window at the back. This is our third bedroom here on the first floor, back right in the house. Ceiling fans looking very good. This room also has a private bathroom. Now by some people's terminology, we have essentially here three master bedrooms. Because a master bedroom, one definition of a master bedroom in my book is that it has a private bathroom. And we'll see that the master bedroom has that of course. And then these, both of these bedrooms that we just saw that we're looking at now and the last one both have private bathrooms. So we have three master bedrooms on the first floor. I don't recall seeing that in too many houses. Uh, not even for more money, uh, custom homes and so forth. You just don't see very often, excepting at much higher prices, uh, homes that have private bathrooms like this. Well, big walk-in closet in this house, in this bath, in this bedroom as well. A uh, very nice feature, very nice feature to have for a guest or a second bedroom. All right, so back down the hallway we come to our main living area, which is very open. And yet, once again, with the formal touch of this beautiful coffered ceiling, looking good. That is our screen porch out there to the uh, back, set at the diagonal. We'll walk out there in a mi minute. Once again, here's our formal dining room, which is open both to the foyer and to the living room. Very attractive. And then our master bedroom over here. Uh, once again, we have the Berber carpet. This is a large room that has the sliding glass door out to that back screen porch. You have then, this takes up the entire left side of the house because you walk down the little hallway to the bathroom here. Very good design. You have uh, closets both left and right here. We'll just take a quick peek. Seeing is believing for him and her. Well, the joke is, of course, that she has the larger closet. Well, that joke is not true in my house, ladies and gentlemen. I have the larger closet. But people say that all the time, is that she has to have the larger closet. Well, here's our master bathroom. Very attractive tub with the curved stairs. Call that a garden tub in some people's, by some people's lingo. Uh, tile steps, tile surround, very soft colors that most people like. Big window over that tub, letting light into your bathroom. Big tall tile surround there. And you have his and her vanities with the cultured marble top. Once again, big wall mirror, framed wall mirror there. Lovely light. 
window and tiled shower. Here we are, this uh, shower is looking very good with a step. People like to see the step. Very attractive tile work here. And then on the other side we have another vanity. So we have his and hers, here we have them both in the same picture. And our commode is just around the corner here in its own little closet. Very common to have that in a Hilton Head home. I call that the water closet. There it is. And here's our master bathroom. And the master bedroom suite looking very good. Out to the back of the house. We get a little sneak preview here. We'll go out there in a minute. We're not finished seeing this house yet, but a very, very large screen porch. A wooded backyard there. Now I have to tell you, working with a lot of people, some people say, well, they love woods. Others love water. Some people want golf. You know, the number one thing that comes up with views with my customers and clients is privacy. People want privacy. Well, whether it's wood, uh, you know, they just want to, don't want to have somebody looking right back at them. All right, here's our bonus up over the garage. And we have wood treads coming right on up. And you already know that there's the, this is our fourth bedroom, so it has, it's a bathroom up here. What you don't know is how big it is. This is really a big, big room. It's very big. Two, two ceiling fans, two gables, two gable windows. Beautiful room. Everything brand new. Brand new house, just finished this year. Just came on the market. You have a walk-in closet here to the left. They haven't put any shelving up here. That closet takes you into your attic, so you have a walk-in attic. We won't go there at this time. And here's our private bathroom for this room, which is same quality we've seen in the other bathrooms. Looking very good. So this then, ladies and gentlemen, is our fourth bedroom. This house having four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. It sits on uh, 0.36 acres, by the way. And once again, the asking price is $459.9. Well, let's just take a quick look out the side here. Here's your service yard. And of course, that fence gives your neighbors visual protection from your heat pumps, as well as a little bit of a sound barrier. Well, let's go out back and finish up. I'll give you my contact information. We've talked about the neighborhood. We've seen the house. This is a big screen porch. Very large, very large indeed. Aluminum panels here, or should I say aluminum frame. You have big screen panels. There's your wooded view. This is a big, big screen porch. <laughs> all right, all right. High quality house, you have um, hardy plank siding. If you're not familiar with that product, it's the latest and greatest. It's a concrete fiberboard. It looks like uh, cypress wood, but it's not. It's uh, a concrete fiberboard. It, uh, it doesn't rot, bugs don't eat it. It's easy to clean. You do have some guttering on this house. You have a big, big concrete patio out here. This is a beautiful house. I'm glad we came. I'm enjoying showing it to you. Let me just tell you something about being a buyer's agent and why I think you should have one. You know, every home that's listed in our MLS has an agent that represents the seller. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever, but the seller's agent, of course, wants the best deal for the seller. As a buyer's agent, I'm looking out for you. I want you to have the best deal and the best terms. And you know, it doesn't cost you anything more to have a buyer's agent working for you because the price, the fee, the commission that I earn as a buyer's agent is already in the price of every listed property. So it doesn't cost you anything more. And however, it does cost the same for you to have an agent like myself with 38 years of local experience as it does to have a, an, an agent with no experience. The commission is the same. 
So I know that there's a lot of information out there on the internet about houses, not so much about agents. So that's one reason why I'm making this video, together with showing you this house and this community. And I would just invite you to call me and let's talk about your real estate needs. I'm sure that we'll find success in the home and community for you. And again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company, Go Gated Realty. My cell phone, 843-684-2933. That's 843-684-2933. And my email address, ladies and gentlemen, is rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. Now, my website is gogated.com. And you can search all MLS properties there at any time. But what I would recommend is that you give me a call or send me an email. Let's talk about what you're looking for. Let me help you find it. And I typically do that by sending you a list of homes that are in your price range that meet your needs on paper. And it comes to you in a format that will update automatically with new listings, price and status changes. Uh, there's no cost or obligation for the service and it is the best way to monitor your personal real estate market. So let's work together. And I look forward to hearing from you. I really appreciate your watching this video and so now, now we've talked about the community of Lawton Woods. We've talked about the builder. Uh, we've talked about the specific house. And we've talked about my services as a buyer's agent. So thank you again for watching this video. And I look forward to hearing from you. Well, there's one, one postscript here I'll just mention real quick. Uh, some, some people think that if they go directly to a builder or developer that somehow they'll save money. Well, let me tell you that just doesn't happen because the price is the price. And if you don't have an agent working for you, well, the price is still the same to you. They don't reduce the price. It is what it is. So that's one reason why I recommend that you contact me and bring me on board earlier rather than later and let me help answer your questions and help you with those comparisons that everyone needs to make, communities, homes, builders, anything at all, that's why I'm here. Again, I have 38, it's 39 years actually of Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience this month, September. So thank you again for watching. It's been a real pleasure showing you this beautiful house here in Lawton Woods here on uh, September 11th, 2014. And just uh, once again, this is 162 Station Parkway. Uh, listed for 459.9. Thanks again. Please give me a call.